Man, Sun Zoots was right. What are you talking about? Sun Zoots, the guy who wrote The Art of War. He said you can change war into an art form. And he was right. By adding beer as a factor, you turn this childhood card game into a drinking game. Hold on. You're saying The Art of War is about how you can change the game of war into a drinking game? Well, I mean... Not just a drinking game, it's an art form. The card game war, this right here, what we're playing? Yeah, when you're young, it's a fun card game to play. Easy rules and all. But that limits the consequences of what happens to you when you lose. By adding drinking as a factor into the card game, now it gets more interesting. Now there are more consequences to war. That's not what he's writing about in The Art of War. In fact, that goes against what he's writing if you want to win. If you do go to war, it should be swiftly for economical reasons. <laughs> I don't think that's Sun Zoots. Yes, it is. If it is, then why am I winning? If you know The Art of War so well, you should be winning. First off, he's talking about actual war, but he tries to empathize on the positioning of military strategy. It all depends on numerous advantages. When to strike, when not to strike. This is just a random card game that you can't predict. No, 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 no! I'm winning. I have more cards. Yes, but we haven't had a round of war yet. And I have all my high cards. Yes, your deck is bigger, but I can win those cards. Depending on the war, I have a better chance of winning and making a comeback. You never know when the climate changes. You have like one high card. You can't win. We'll see. See, your arrogance and temper have clouded your judgment. It's always good to keep your opponents in the dark whenever possible. So what did we learn today? Never play war as a drinking game. No, that's not it at all. Have a spy if you want to win. Close enough. Okay then. Let's shotgun. <laughs>